Let's talk the Galaxy Fold display. So I've had this device for four days and lately we've had a lot of brouhaha about the Galaxy Fold display. I will tell you right now, my display is fine. It is fine, it works well. I did not take off the uh, screen protector or what seems to be a screen protector. I, didn't have, I don't have any issues with my display. We'll get to my device in a second. But what we've had so far is a couple of things. One, we had a case from The Verge that had a bulge in their display. Yes, that's something we should pay attention to. Another is we had a bunch of reviewers and influencers who got this device and tried to remove the protective screen layer. And once you do that, that causes damage to the display. You're not supposed to take it off. Now, I will attest that when I got my device, which is not in uh, retail packaging, there was nothing that said we shouldn't take that layer off. So I can see where there was confusion and hopefully that is cleared out. Samsung did release a press statement, which you can see on screen uh, right there that says, look, this is what happened. This is what we're seeing. And also we will make sure that people know that as a fact. Des from T-Mobile stated that their retail packaging of the Fold does have attention. Uh, please don't take this off. So that's gonna be clear in the consumer packaging. So with regards to anyone peeling off the display, that is a mixture of user error and miscommunication from Samsung in terms of reviewers, not retail packaging. I'm just stating what is there. Now, some of you might say, hey, look, he's being paid by Samsung. I am not. I am just looking at it from the case of, this is a piece of technology that I think will change the way we look at smartphones and devices in the future. Now, there are a lot of people who just don't want this to work out. I know those people. I've commented with them on, on Twitter and they just don't like the fact that this device is there. Some people are saying, you shouldn't have released a Gen 1 device. This is the same people who said things like this with the Galaxy Note or even the first iPhone. Yes, I was probably one of those people with the first iPhone too. Just because you don't like a company or you don't like a device doesn't mean it shouldn't be there. Remember the very first Surface, we had the same issues. A lot of people said, this is not worthwhile, it's terrible. We go to the third generation Surface, wow, it's life changing. That's what we have here with the Galaxy Fold. And I think it's something that we have to realize that yes, it is first gen, and some people say, why should we release a first-gen device? Because if you want to get it to the point where it costs cheaper uh, in terms of cost, and also it becomes uh, to the full length of usability, you have to put it in the hands of people so they can also guide that decision process. It happened with the first iPhone, it happened with the first Galaxy Note, and also happened with uh, the Surface line. I think it's something we will see here. This will get better. This will get tremendously more ergonomical and will fit the idea of what a foldable device should be. I see it here and I'm just saying that we should take a step back and not get crazy and jump into the fray of like, oh my God, this is a device that, you know, it's breaking down when it really isn't. There is it's a small sample set and we have to wait and see what happens once people actually get their units. The Samsung says, look, this is probably small and we'll hold them to that till we actually see what happens with users in hand. It might stay that way and it's fine and all this is all for nothing and people are just, you know, because we like, we like negative stories, that's the thing. I'll just say in my case, it's worked well. I've had no issues, I've used this. The device has been pretty solid and I think you guys will like it too, whoever wants to pick it up. Um, so there you have it guys. That is the truth about the Galaxy Fold display. I think there's a lot of miscommunication going on and I think there might be some issues there in terms of what The Verge mentioned, but that's pretty much it. It's not a big disaster as you're probably hearing right now. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you want to discuss about this, leave your comments down below and I'll gladly join you in the conversation. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.